So this question is definitely a systems of equations question. I know that, and I hope that you will be able to spot that quickly just because of how it's set up, right? So even if we end up using different math here or other strategies, my mind is initially, hey, this is system of equations. Anytime I have systems of equations or system, system of equations, I can use elimination as a method and or I can use substitution as a method. So let's see if either of those work in this case. So the question says, in the system of equations above, so even if you didn't know, you would have read that here, A and B are constants. All right, so A is a constant, B is a constant. That's good to know. If the system has infinitely many solutions, infinitely many solutions, what is the value of A over B? So we're trying to find A over B. So here's the trick. Infinitely many solutions. Well, when does a system of equations have infinitely many solutions? The only time that happens is when the two equations are equivalent, okay? That means that the two equations are equal to each other. So ax plus by equals 12. We have to somehow make that, right, by impacting the entire thing here, make it equal to 2x plus 8y equals 60. So how do we do that? We do that, first of all, the easiest way to do that is to multiply by 5, because I know for sure that if I multiply by 5, I'm going to make that 12 into a 60. So let's see what happens when I do that. That becomes 5ax plus 5by equals 60. So now I have these two equations, 2x plus 8y equals 60. So again, I know that they need to be equal. So somehow I need to make this 5a equal to 2, right? That makes the, um, that would make the number in front of the x the same for both equations. And I need to make this 5b equal to 8 because that would make the coefficient in front of y the same for both. So solving for a, I get a equals two-fifths. Solving for b, I get b equals eight-fifths. The question is, again, asking what a over b is. So a is two-fifths over b is eight-fifths. Whenever I have a complex fraction like this, I know there's other ways to do this, but I like visually, I like to say, well, this is the same as saying two-fifths divided by 8 fifths. I can write it side by side like that. And when I divide fractions, the first fraction stays the same, 2 fifths. The divided by symbol turns into multiplication. And then the second fraction, you write it as the reciprocal, so 5 over 8. So then when I multiply these two fractions together, I'm going to cross cancel in this case. I'm going to say 5's cross out, and the 2 goes into 2 once, a 2 goes into 8 four times, so I'm left with one fourth as my final answer. Had I not done the cross cancellation, if that bothers you, I could say, well, two over five times five over eight. Well, two times five is 10. Five times eight is 40. And again, that's the same as just one fourth, right? You can just cross the zeros out. Or you can actually divide it and see that 10, 10 over 40 reduces to one fourth. So our final answer here is one over four.